as the main purpose of a NAS is to act as a centralized location for our files. It could be argued that because our NAS will not be executing any of the files that it stores, as long as we are diligent and vet all of the files that we add to our NAS, there should be no need to install an antivirus package. This could be particularly true for anyone running a lower spec model of Synology NAS, as they may find that by running antivirus software, they see a noticeable drop in the performance of their NAS. However, because it's generally considered best practice to have some sort of antivirus package installed onto our NAS, we will be looking at installing Synology's antivirus essential package and then configuring it so that the antivirus application only checks for viruses when our NAS is not being used. In order to install and configure Antivirus Essential, we first need to log into this station manager using our administrator's credentials. Now from the DSM's desktop, we need to select Package Center. When Package Center opens, we are shown a screen that displays all of the packages that can be installed on this model of Synology NAS. As you can see in our example, Antivirus Essential is the first package listed. However, we can also use the provided filters, which when we change the category to security, will once again list Antivirus Essential. An alternative method for finding packages within Package Center is via the search bar. By typing Antivirus and then pressing Enter on the keyboard, the Antivirus Essential package will once again be listed. Let's select Install and take a look at the process for installing this package onto our NAS. First, we need to select which volume we wish to install Antivirus Essential onto. In this example, we will install the package into Volume 1, which is the same volume that we used to install Disk Station Manager. We will leave Always Install New Packages on this volume in the future unticked, as this will give us more flexibility as to where packages can be installed. After selecting Next, we have an option that allows us to double check our settings. You can see that Antivirus Essential will automatically run after it's been installed onto our NAS. So let's select Apply. The Antivirus Essential package is now downloaded and installed onto our NAS. Once the Antivirus package has been installed, the Install button for Antivirus Essential will change to an Open button. Let's close Package Center. By default, Antivirus Essential will not automatically run a virus scan. So we now need to create a schedule when our NAS will scan itself for viruses. If we select Main Menu, from within Main Menu, we need to find and select Antivirus Essential. When Antivirus Essential opens, we are presented with an overview. From within the overview, we can manually run either a full scan, a custom scan, or a system scan. However, before we scan our NAS for viruses, let's take a look at settings which can be found in the sidebar. Under default processing method, we can choose how Antivirus Essential will deal with files that it suspects are infected. The default option is to quarantine, which will simply isolate the suspected file. The alternative option is to do nothing, so Antivirus Essential just reports that a file has been infected. You will find that Antivirus Essential errs on the side of caution, so it might generate a number of false positives. A false positive is when our antivirus program suspects a healthy file as being infected, so places that file in quarantine. So when we select quarantine from the sidebar, we're able to see any files that have been scanned and are suspected of being infected. It will then be up to us as system administrators to determine if that file has indeed been infected or if Antivirus Essential has simply reported a false positive. We can then choose to either delete or restore the file from quarantine and back into the file share that it came from. Let's return to settings. Under default scanning targets, we have two options. The first option allows us to create a whitelist. This is simply a list of files that will not be scanned when Antivirus Essential checks our NAS for viruses. As Antivirus Essential will report false positives, we can use the whitelist to stop Antivirus Essential from repeatedly quarantining a healthy file which it thinks is infected. 
We can either do this when we restore a quarantined file, or we can select the Create button and manually add a file to our whitelist. If we enable only scan specific file types, we can make Antivirus Essential only check files with a specific file extension. As you can see, by default the virus scanner will only check seven different file types. However, by entering a file extension and then selecting Add, we can include other file extensions to this list. By using the option Only Scan Specific File Types, we can reduce the amount of time Antivirus Essential will need in order to complete a virus scan. However, for now, let's disable Only Scan Specific File Types and allow Antivirus Essential to check all files. The last option within Settings is Update. By default, Antivirus Essential will automatically update its virus definitions before it starts a scan. Let's now select Scheduled Scan from the sidebar so that we can configure our virus scanner to run a full scan at a specific time in the day. When we choose Create, a window will open, allowing us to make a schedule. First, we need to decide what will be scanned. The default is Full Scan, but we also have an option to perform a System Scan or create a Custom Scan to scan specific folders on our NAS. Let's choose Full Scan. We now have a drop down menu that will allow us to choose when the scan will run. Depending on how we utilize our NAS, we'll dictate how often it is checked for viruses. However, daily is perhaps the safest option to choose. Next, we have an option that allows us to choose when our scan will start. Ideally, we want our scans to start before our files are backed up as we don't want to allow an infected file onto our backups. However, as running an antivirus scan can affect the performance of a NAS, especially on a device of a lower specification, ideally we need to run our scan when our users are not working on our NAS. For us, as our backups will not start until 1am, we will start our virus scan at 11pm. This will ensure that if antivirus essential does affect the performance of our NAS, very few people will be affected. Also, by starting at 11pm, we give our NAS two hours to complete a virus scan before it has to start making its daily backup. When we select OK, our schedule is created. Finally, in the sidebar we have Update. While we have already set, Antivirus Essential to automatically update its virus definitions before it starts a scan, if we wish we can manually update the virus definitions here. Let's return to Overview and select Full Scan. Even though we have configured Antivirus Essential to automatically scan our NAS at 11pm, we will manually run a scan now so that we can monitor the whole process and check that our NAS is virus free. As our virus definitions are out of date, Antivirus Essential will first automatically update itself with the latest definitions. When the scan starts, we are shown a percentage of how much of the scan has been completed. Unfortunately, the amount of time it takes to complete a virus scan is dependent on the number of files being scanned, which means that even though our NAS currently only has a few files stored on it, Antivirus Essential still took roughly two hours to complete this scan. However, by manually running a scan now, we can check that tonight's scheduled virus scan will not overlap with our scheduled backups. With our scan now completed, if we need, we can review any files that have been quarantined, or we can close Antivirus Essential.